What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's Austin from PNW Bassin here. And in today's video, we're actually gonna be bringing up two reels head to head. And that is an old vintage, like 1980s, 1990s Shimano Bantam. And we're bringing up the 2017, I think, I got it like last year, Shimano Sitica, more of the futuristic kind of reel. And pretty much we're just gonna fish with both of these reels today. Kind of see what it was like to fish with a reel like this in the past and see how far they've come and kind of like pick apart the differences in between them and uh, just see how it is using it. So let's hit that intro and get started. Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I'm pretty much just gonna be bank fishing this pond right here. There's another pond not too far from here, so if we can't catch anything out of here, we're probably gonna jump over there. It's winter time right now, the water is cold. It was actually frozen yesterday, so hopefully the fish are still biting. It might be a little hard to get those fish to bite, but we're gonna be starting off with the old school Shimano Bantam. And I got this reel from my grandpa probably about two years ago, and I never really thought about even fishing with it until probably this summer i'm like you know i should make a video of that i think it'd be pretty cool to show everybody like what it's like to fish with one of these because not everybody has the chance to hold one or look at one because most of the reels that we use today are like the futuristic reel like the shimano sitica or even the new dc reels are start reels are starting to have digital chips in them they've come a long way but really we're just going to kind of pick apart uh, the differences between these reels so I do not know much about these old school reels, but if you guys think you know what year this reel is, comment down below. I am really interested to know when this is from. Uh, I know my buddy Justin from Bottomland Outdoorsman has a reel like this as well. And he actually did a video on his just comparing them. What do you guys say? Let's get to fishing and hopefully get on some big fish. All right guys, so pretty much right now I'm just gonna get first impression casts. I have not even casted this thing yet and uh, Honestly, I'm a little scared because I don't know if it's even gonna, how it's gonna do, I'm adjust the settings a little bit on here. First cast, let's see how it sounds, how it does. Ooh, it's a little rough sounding, but it honestly casted quite a ways. That, didn't, that was not bad at all. I've used some older reels, but nothing even close to being this old. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm just gonna keep fishing with this reel until we can get on a few fish. And then if I do catch one, I'm gonna switch over to the futuristic reel and just keep swapping back and forth and just compare them and kind of talk to you guys about how I feel about it and see if this reel can handle a big Mondo fish. There's fish. He came up shallow and eat that <laughs> first one. First one on the old vintage reel. First one, it's probably not even 12 inches. That's awesome. Really? Yep, 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 that way. What are you doing? There he goes. All right guys, so I just put down the old vintage reel and it is time to use the new one. Um, first impressions? Uh, it's not bad at all. Honestly, I really think you could use that old vintage reel as like an everyday reel. I mean, there's a few things that make it not as nice as using something like this. Other than that, it's you could definitely use it. You, it catches fish like you guys saw. But at the end of this video, I am also going to do a very, very close up comparison on all of the details on my opinions about each reel. Um, but as of right now, we're gonna catch some fish and uh, see how they do. There's one. That's a little bigger. That was right next to the shore as well. Look at that, barely hooked. All right guys, get the 
his hat on, right? How's that look? Ah, okay. Boom. Right there, guys. It's probably about pound 1.5. This one came right off of the bank as well. I was just reeling about to pick up my crankbait, actually. And then out of nowhere, it just stopped. I'm like, I'd say it's a fish. So set the hook and uh, probably stop this right in the shallows. Um, this one is bigger, so I guess you could say the futuristic reel is winning. I don't know. There we go, guys. But uh, let's let this guy go. You. That water is freaking cold, guys. My hands are pretty numb out here. It started to rain a little bit. I think I'd say we're doing pretty good right now. It's uh, today is December 12th, and we are catching fish, which is, you can't complain because winter fishing sometimes can be a pain. So like I said, we're gonna head over to the deeper side of this pond and hopefully get on some bigger fish. Uh, see you guys over there. We are now standing on the dam, as you guys can see here. Um, it's a lot deeper over here. I think it's about 11 feet. We're gonna try to see if these fish are hanging out a little bit deeper. Oh, that was a bite right there. Got him that time. Yeah, that's right. That's how you do it. I knew it was a fish. Look at that, guys. Another smaller fish, he was sitting right here, hit me the first time, and, and I got him the second time. So there we go, see you later. Uh, since I caught a fish on this one, it is time to switch back over. Oh, so much lighter. It's time to switch over back to the futuristic reel. All right guys, so pretty much I've been fishing the square bill for probably 30 more minutes and I haven't gotten any bites or anything. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back up to the house, switch rods, I'm gonna tie on that shaky head or a jig or something that's more on the bottom and hopefully that will help us get some of these more inactive fish. So let's switch up the rod and get back to fishing. There we go. So I decided to tie on a mop jig right there. We are still on the new futuristic reel style. So hopefully we can get one on this jig and then switch back over. And I actually might switch back over to it just so I can catch another fish on it. Maybe get another fish before it gets dark. Um, I mean, I know what it's like catching a big fish with this reel, but I don't know what it's like with that one. So I'm actually probably gonna switch up right now. So now that we have the old vintage reel, I put it on a new rod. Um, this one's just a little bit more stiff and it's gonna be able to able to set the hook better on this shaky head. Welcome back everybody. Sorry if there is some bad wind noise right now and the smoke coming in front of the camera. We have a fire going over there. But um, I'm actually about to leave Mississippi later this evening and uh, before I left I wanted to go over the reels again. I've already been fishing with them. I kind of know what they are like and uh, I think now it's time to take a deeper look at these reels. Um, so we're going to start with the old one. First of all I want to start off by saying this thing is not as bad as it looks. I remember when I got this I never thought I was going to use it. I pretty much put it in my garage and it sat there for a good two years. My first thoughts was I was actually very impressed because of how far it actually casted. I don't know what made me think that it wasn't gonna cast very far or anything like that, but I was very impressed by that. The drag held up with all the fish that we hooked. It's really why I wanted to hook a bigger fish for on this reel, just to test out like how good the reel works. Now, for the few things that I didn't like about this reel is one, how heavy it is. Two, how awkward it sits in your hands. Because, I mean, you can tell a difference right here. This one is kind of like more fitting to our palms. The gear ratio absolutely is not the best. Um, I lost a lot of fish because of that. When I set the hook, they were swimming at me. I couldn't catch up with them in time and they just came off. And another thing that I didn't really like about it is when I reel, I kind of like to like go like that 
and I'll show you guys an example of this. Like if I'm really nice, it goes like that. It picks up my slack like that instead of going like this to pick up my slack. I kind of just spin it like this. But on this reel, as you can see, it seems kind of loose. I'm sure this thing could use some oil, but uh, that doesn't really work very well. And the last thing that was kind of iffy about this reel is where the spool or where the release button for the spool is. Um, it's way off to the side. I'm not used to that at all. Like sometimes I would push it, and by the time I got my finger over to the spool to stop it, my bait would like move down a little bit. Kind of irritating. But other than that, you know, I would actually use this reel if I needed to. It's not that bad. So if you guys have a reel like this, definitely give it a try. And uh, my question for you guys is, how old do you think this thing is? Like what year? I have no idea like the year on this thing. I haven't tried looking it up either though at the same time. So now we're gonna come over to the Shimano Corrado. In the video I was using two newer reels. It fits in your hand very nice. This is a very light reel, probably six to seven ounces, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and again, that, I mean, um, it's just a lot more smooth. The braking system is better on this one. Uh, I'm sure the drag is better, but not for sure because we never really got to test that out. Um, the button is in like a normal place, I guess. And yeah, and the handle is a lot bigger as well. So, I mean, you can pick up a lot more line. The gear ratio, this is a 7.2 to one gear ratio. And I believe the older one is a five. If you look at the handle, you can just see the difference in the handle size right there. But that is just what comes after, who knows, 20, 30 years of reel production and just progressing that reel better and better every single year. I mean, this one compared to like the new Corrado DC, there's a big difference there. Shimano definitely picked up their game a lot and I had fun making this video. It was kind of a different video. It was fun getting out there fishing with a really old time reel and I, I will definitely do it again. If you guys wanna see that type of video again, maybe doing the challenge a little bit different, maybe having one of my friends use this one and I'll use this one or vice versa. If you guys wanna see something like that, comment down below and smash that like button. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later.